show you how to use this DITPs. DITPs means this what daily issues tracking system. So we have two user. This is Ray Corvera and password one two three. So this is admin. This is admin or developer user. So he can access all. If we will use also for user here password one two three. Access is limited. You cannot access the admin feature. Okay. okay let's start. One, two, three. Now the purpose for this database is to monitor the daily issues for different departments or different responsibilities so this is daily issues statistic as showing here we have one issue so here open issues you can see the current issues so if i click this one automatically the issues details showing so now we will add new issue here just click this one and created by example me i created then today responsible person so you can add any here example this is the in charge of that specific department so just select this one I will show you how to add this uh, responsible so meaning all of the employees can create and also are responsible for concerning issues so I will put open then priority either critical high low medium so let's say high then issues here is uniform so you can add any issues example I need aircon repair so if you hit tab automatically database will ask because this one is not exist or nothing less to new aircon repair as a new issues yes just it's in the case and now if you select this one already added here so issues we need a new aircon then just select as you can see here send no button here to send because this one we can send through email so just select save look automatically showing send email so by this one this data whatever data here so we will send this one to the specific in charge example responsible is this one this is the department head example maintenance so you will send to it as of now i i put the same email because i using only one email in order to show you either i send or he receive so now we'll send these issues if you click this send email automatically it will generate an attachment and automatically it will pop up with the microsoft outlook 
as what I've told you, I put my email so you can modify or we will modify later based on the corresponding email. So now this is the in charts automatically it will generate the data or the body of the data and this is new ticket issues for your immediate action and support this is a ticket number then create it because I'm the one who created and issue date so this one is only 48 hours I put this one due date just for example then this is the auto automated message please confirm if you receive this email this one then here so now I will send okay email successfully sent now there is a two open issues okay, we will check here now we have and two open now we will check our email so now I receive because the one I put is the default my email now I receive the corresponding issues so if I double click this one here is the issues now let's say after two days there's no any update so you can send also to follow up again just click this one open issues let's say I will use this issues uniform here just double click now you can send follow up here and just click this one follow up so here look this is to follow up concerning the status of subjected issues so this is again this is the issue date and this one is notify updating as details here so you can send again the same ticket here so you can send so again it's showing email success policy As you can see here, still open issues still there because not yet solved or not yet closed. So presume we will close this one. Let's say this one is already completed. So you can now select today. If you put the date completed automatically it will generate an email for notification that this specific issues is already completed but but still here in the open issues list so we can close here then just select this one close So issues take it close then send email successfully sent then if you select OK now automatically our issues will become solved or close and going there in the close issues look this is the one So, but even this one is closed, you can rework this one.
here close now it's becoming two issues so you can send again the same issues no need to write just only to click and uncheck so that modify also the emails for those who want to cc or copy email you can add a, another just put comma then you can cc to the another employee or in charge email here you can modify also here you just only add in order to send not only for this email you can send also for some other in charge again i use two user you can modify also you can manage also the user example for existing just select this one then here you can change user account then change username you can modify admin and you can change also the password here let's say admin then you can change also the account type Now I will keep up as is, then done changes. Now, account type is modified. If I click exit, now account is admin and you can type admin. Now, this is it how to use this one i will attach this database you can use free for three months thank you and god bless